If you have blue eyes, you are probably related to every other blue-eyed person on the planet. Everyone alive today who has blue eyes has a single common ancestor who probably lived about 10,000 years ago. But practically nobody on Earth had blue eyes 10,000 years ago. We all started with brown eyes. Then, around 6,000 to 10,000 years ago, someone in the Black Sea region had a tiny mutation in the genes that determine the eye color, ultimately giving them the first set of blue eyes known to mankind. Researchers don't know for sure who the first person with blue eyes was. The earliest known person with blue eyes was a 7,000-year-old skeleton found in northern Spain. Genetic analysis of the skeleton proved that the eyes were once blue. You may be wondering what traits caused blue eyes to develop in the first place, and if it was so rare, how did blue eyes become so popular over time? Fortunately, genetics is able to answer these mysterious questions. Your eye color is dependent on a pigment known as melanin. The gene that regulates the melanin pigment in the colored part of your eye is OCA2. The mutation that resulted in blue eyes affected this OCA2 gene. This created a genetic switch, which turned off the ability of the OCA2 gene to produce the melanin pigment and caused the eye color to become blue. In one study, Researchers analyzed the DNA of blue-eyed people and found that 99.5% of all blue-eyed people inherited the same mutated gene at exactly the same spot in their DNA. Blue eyes are as fascinating as they are pretty. Even though blue eyes appear to be, well, blue, they're not actually blue at all. Sounds crazy, right? Well, hear me out. Let's dig a little deeper. The colored part of your eye is known as the iris. The more melanin in your iris, the darker your eye color will be. Instead of any pigment, blue eyes have small particles suspended in the iris. These particles give rise to the Tyndall effect. The small particles scatter the incoming blue wavelengths of light back into the atmosphere, and as a result of the Tyndall effect, it creates a blue hue. It's similar to the way light scatters across the sky, making it appear blue. Since blue eyes get their color from the light that's coming in and being reflected back out, they really can appear as different colors depending on the lighting conditions. A theory of why blue eyes originated is that blue eyes provide an advantage to those living in colder climates. Lower melanin levels allow for more vitamin D absorption from the sun. Although blue eyes are still very rare, about 20 to 40% of European people today have blue eyes. One theory as to why blue eyes spread quickly is simply that blue eyes were immediately considered an attractive feature. Blue-eyed people just had an easier time finding mates, and this allowed the genetic mutation to spread. But these are just some of the theories. 10,000 years later, researchers are still wondering about why blue eyes have persisted and why they are so often favored.